with my experience with working a lot with our new faculty and then working with our more seasoned faculty, I think they do have different things that their needs are. Um, the new faculty are designing and putting together new courses, and for many, this is a new experience for them. Um, deciding how they're going to deliver the content that they have, how they're going to set up classroom expectations for assignments, um, how they develop the assignments, how they're going to evaluate the assignments. So they, the new faculty, I think it's more, they have more to do for putting together their courses. As seasoned faculty, they've, a lot of them have learned how to design their courses, kind of what their expectations are, um, and they're dealing with some, some other issues often. Um, but there are similarities for some things, like um, how do we get our students to be um, performing at a, a higher standard, or what are those standards of academic excellence that we all agree on? So there are multiple conversations and topics that are common across for all of us that we're really working on and thinking about and questioning and dialoguing about, but then there's very different logistical kinds of things that we're dealing with. Um, and so. And often the senior faculty are helping to support the newer faculty with ideas and helping them understand kind of developmentally, you know, how the programs are set up mm -hmm. and how they, many of our programs are developmental so that they have a, sequ a sequence that they follow to complete the program. And so new faculty are learning how to do that in the whole picture of the program. Um, and at the same time, the new faculty actually bring often new ideas and willingness mm -hmm. to kind of try new things and take risks because they're developing their courses. And that inspires our other faculty to be able to ask questions and share ideas. So mm -hmm. it's a nice give and take that takes place. Mm -hmm.